Hi folks, Chef Mike here. Stay tuned, we're gonna make a very simple and elegant scallop carpaccio dish that I know is gonna be perfect for your table. Hi folks, Chef Mike here from With a Tie to Your Table. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have another super simple and elegant dish for an appetizer or even an entree or a bar plate that takes like a couple seconds to make and delivers such wonderful flavor and a great way to celebrate what comes from the sea. So since we're not out fishing right now, uh, I'm taking the opportunity to show you some things that we probably wouldn't go for. We're not going to go for scallops. We're not going to go for shrimp. So today I'm going to cook or actually make for you a very simple scallop carpaccio. Now carpaccio is a dish that's typically done with beef, uh, raw tenderloin, uh, garnished with various things, capers and things. So we're going to show you how to do this simple version with scallops that's sure to be a hit at your table. So the first thing we want to do is get some dry scallops. Now scallops come in two formats, right? Either wet or dry. I'm begging you never to buy wet scallops. You always want to buy dry. They're more expensive and I know everybody's gonna say yeah but they're more expensive. But in the long run they're really not more expensive. The difference is that the wet scallops are pumped full of po uh, tripolyphosphate and a mixture of that with water and a little bit of salt. And what that does is help preserve the scallops for a longer period of time, but also makes the scallop retain moisture. So as an example, if you were to have a wet scallop and put it in a hot pan, you'll know immediately they're wet scallops because it's gonna purge all of that liquid out and shrink to about half its size. So in the long run, you're better off with these because they're not going to shrink. And they're a much, much better tasting, high quality product. In fact, some people I know, Captain Dan being one of them, has an allergic reaction to the tripolyphosphate, or ST, SSTP. All right, so we're gonna use dry jumbo scallops. Beautiful, fresh, dry jumbo scallops. Okay, so all you wanna do is take one of your beautiful, fresh, dry scallops and slice it in four, three or four pieces, okay? Now we'll probably serve two or three scallops per portion, all right? And what you want to do, I promised you last episode that uh, while I'm down at the shore house, I got to get myself some white plates. So I did. An oversized plate is great because it really does help showcase the food again, frame it like it was a picture with a picture frame around it. So all we're going to do now is we're going to take a piece of the scallop, then we're going to take a slice of radish. Another piece of scallop, a slice of radish, another piece of scallop, a slice of radish, another piece of scallop, another radish. We're just going to make a line of it, okay? And you're going to see how elegant this is, okay? Couldn't be simpler. One of the other tricks I'd love to mention, I don't have one here at the Shore House, but you know the old-fashioned egg slicers? It's like a thing you put an egg in and has a bunch of wires and you just cut it and it cuts the, uh, the egg into slices. You can do the very same thing with the scallops and get perfectly even slices uh, and make your job ten times easier. So now what we want to do is we're going to take some crushed pistachio peppers. We're just going to drizzle those on top. Okay. And it's all right to get a little couple more on the side. Then we're going to take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and just drizzle a line down, okay? And maybe a little here and here for the look. 
Then we're going to take a minced jalapeno pepper and sprinkle that on top. Now the thing with peppers like jalapenos or Anaheim's or any, any spicy chili, uh, the, the heat, most of the heat actually comes from the, the, uh, the skin and also from the seed. So if you like it a little bit bitey, leave the seeds in. If you don't, take the seeds out. It's that simple. Now we're going to take a little bit of cilantro, also known in a lot of countries as coriander, and we're just going to sprinkle a few leaves throughout the plate. Just make it a little bit of a nice, elegant presentation. Okay, that simple. Then, a little bit of cracked black pepper, right on top and on the plate. Okay, a little bit of sea salt. You can use Maldon or regular sea salt. We talked about Maldon in an earlier episode. Just enough to just give it a little bit of a, a taste. And then we're going to finish it with fresh squeezed lemon juice. So you just take that lemon and squeeze it on top. And there you have it, folks. A super, super simple but elegant dish of scallop carpaccio. You can add any number of other ingredients or vegetables that you like uh, for freshness cues. Whatever suits your table, those are the ingredients you're going to want to use. So. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week with some more fishing action, tackle, uh, tackle advice, and cooking. This has been Chef Mike with From the Tide to Your Table. Be safe out there. We'll see you in the water.